Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about document authoring and the page structure. This tutorial is going to be very important where I would be explaining how to author a document and how the page is structured based on what did you author in your document or Google Doc. So as I have already explained in page in Franklin page or edge delivery services page header and footer are always a separate document header and footer comes from the separate document whatever you author there main section of page is come from a single Google Docs what did you author in that doc that will be reflected in your final HTML page so page is divided in header and footer and the main section the left side you see the page means whatever the page finally render and left side whatever the document you would be having so document is divided in different sections each section can have different kind of content and these sections are rendered as a separate section in your page basically this section would be a div where there will be a specific class called sections we consider that div as a section so each section will be rendered in a particular div that will create a div in your html inside this section whatever you add let's say you add some blocks some default content those will be the part of that particular div on your page let's see in actual how it will render let's say in section one i have configure hero container another one or something else so those sections will be rendered like this in your html page so each section can have two type of uh, content it can be a default content and blocks default content i'll talk about this detail later in detail later but for just to understand default content is normal HTML elements whatever HTML elements you have and you can place over a page or the document those are called default let's say headings h1 h2 paragraph list those kind of element whatever you have in HTML these are called default content block block is a specific piece of code you can compare this with am component we'll talk about this in detail i'll give you a demo as well we'll have a separate tutorial based for this block so this block consider a specific functionality let's say carousel hero in hero uh, sections for a specific functionality you will be writing blocks so you can have either for content default content or block or block or then default content it's completely up to you you can have multiple default contents and multiple blocks within one sections so you will be uh, authoring this in your document and same will be reflected in your page now as i said sections each section can have both as i already explained default content and blocks whatever you see in between right as i see here you see this three hyphens and this this is the most important part of your document authoring we'll see how i'll have a demo basically these two things define the structure of your document and based on structure that will be rendered in your page so these are used to create your sections we'll see that in detail and what is the default content as i already said h u l means whatever the default uh, html elements you can use those are called default uh, content with some exceptions one more thing in franklin page we don't use img tag we always use picture tag obviously you can customize your own functionality if you want to but it is recommended to use picture tag not img tag so for demo i have created a page or document called home this has nothing so i will publish this or preview this it has nothing now let me close this and let's have the view source of it okay let me uh, move this to right now if you see here this is my header let me close this right if you come here you will see this header and footer let me close this uh, sidekick as well 
so just refresh page the side click side click will be go away now you see the header header which i have already it is coming from the separate document you see this is header and this is footer and inside this there is a call main inside main whatever their content has means in your document that will go to this section so this is called main right inside main right now i see div class section so there is only one div i did not add anything inside my document you see here it's nothing so there is only one section created one section created uh, then empty section created so now what i'll do let me add some default content to it and what is default content h1 whatever the html element you can use normally so let me add three h1 s2 and a p tag here so this is h1 let me make this h1 so here i will make it h1 second one i will make this h2 let me add two and third one is a simple paragraph which is already there i don't need to do anything right three things here if i publish this now let me publish this okay preview and if i refresh this now let me close this first and i refresh this so inside this what you should see you should see a single sections mean single div you see there is a div and inside this you will see this default hyphen container hyphen wrapper that means it's a default content i did not add any block to it whatever you see inside this the three h1 h2 and p even if you see the tags here the tag is being used h1 h2 and p tag because i uh, format this content as h1 h2 and p and those are in first in default content because those are in default container default sections and under the main section so right now there is only one section on this page how you would be creating multiple sections let's see that so come here first now as i already explained now it's up to you how you categorize or how you divide sections so the two ways one is one two three three hyphens you can add so now as soon as i add three hyphens you should see the upper part has been divided in two sections means upper part is a one section lower part is another sections so now let me refresh this let me save and publish this first this is really important right whatever you author here that is reflected to your page so I have already refreshed but let me refresh one more time and what you see now two divs has been added so now there's two different sections and how what should be there in first section first section there should be the upper part and later two should be in second section so if you open this here and it's because of default content so it will come in a default hyphen content wrapper and here h1 see the h1 another section and the second section has two other h2 and paragraph tag so that's how you should categorize or how you categorize your uh, page or document in multiple sections so there's a one more way how you can do it right go to insert and insert there must be a horizontal line so if you add a horizontal line to so that horizontal line also create a section right so now the two ways how you create sections as i explained in previous slide either three hyphens or horizontal line here so now let me save it first and let me publish this preview now come here if i refresh now let me close this first there should be three sections and each section has different content and all content is default content right now go to main you see three sections mean three divs here first one has h2 second one should have h2 means first one h1 second one h2 and third one my simple paragraph tag that's how you create sections in your document and whatever you author now means you can author any number of content either blocks or default in a particular sections those will be added in your that particular section on your html page now if you have already work on aem aem pages 
consider this one sections as a parses right in parses you can keep adding your component and content and it will keep adding at the end right at uh, you know after you add the particular one let's say you add it first you have h1 so later on it will add h2 same way you can add any number of content here let's say if i say here am geeks and if i publish this should be in the first section let me save this let me publish quickly and let me refresh this so now in first section in default content there too there's a one more am geeks added in first section because i added it here so now let's add block i did not explain what is block and how to add it for for now just simplicity i will take a block from another document i'll talk about block in detail in another tutorial so let me open this index our existing page and this is called block let me copy this block okay just copy so now i just copy one block from existing document this one okay to my document and let me publish this okay preview and now if i refresh page see this has been added this has been added and what you should see here let me close this uh, sidekick and refresh it one more time what you should see in second so i added here in second sections you see the first section and second section so now in second section you should see two nested two inner divs one for the default content another one for the div let's see go to the second because i added on second now you see two here so what you see here is one is this default content and another one is column wrapper so why column wrapper so whatever the name of your block is it will add the, your name here so if you have multiple blocks here it will keep adding let's say column wrapper if you have another let's say form so it will add form hyphen wrapper so there's two here right two and inside default content you will see whatever the default content which is h2 and in column wrapper you will see exactly your block so what is the name of your block block is column so you will see here whatever is there in your uh, block so i hope you understood how to author your document and how the page is rendered based on what did you author in your document uh, if you have any question add your comment thank you